So in this video, we're going to talk about converting Lewis structures to the condensed structure or the condensed formula. Okay. And what we're essentially doing is just taking this whole, the molecules and squishing them down to just a line. Okay. A line of CH2, CH3s, all that good stuff. Okay. So that being said, how are we going to, how are we going to do that? Okay. How are we going to do that? Okay. This isn't hydrogen. So that's my mistake. Okay. So if I take a look at this molecule, I see three carbons and what is bonded around it? I have H's, okay? So I have H's, I have an oxygen here, and I have a CH3 here, okay? So the way I'm going to look at this, this first one is that I have a carbon, and it has three hydrogens, okay? I have a carbon, it has three hydrogens, okay? Well, I see a CH3, and then also see a CH2, okay? And I see another CH2, okay? So notice, I, I see a CH2, and I see another CH2. Well, I could condense that more and put these in brackets on so the general consensus that we, if we have more than one of the same thing, we put it in brackets and put the, uh, and put the amount as a subscript. Okay. So the, the fact that I have two CH2s here, uh, I put a CH2 and then put a bracket around it. That signifies that I actually have two instead of writing CH2, CH2. So that would be condensed. And then next we have an oxygen. Okay. Well, that's, that's, that's just straightforward. And then this whole thing, again, we have a CH3. Okay, so this would be the, the condensed formula for this molecule. Uh, this functional group here with an oxygen sandwich between two carbons, that's called an ether. Okay, so let's just call it an ether. I don't expect you guys to know these as yet since you're just starting organic chemistry, but anyhow, maybe, maybe you should. Okay, so let's look at this one. Okay, what would be the condensed structure for this? Okay, well, I see that I have a CH3 here. Okay, so... This whole group is a CH3. So that is a CH3. Okay, now I have a carbon that has another carbon that's branched off. And anytime you see something that's branched, we're going to put it in parentheses. That's just the, that's the, that's the general consensus. So you see that we have a CH3 here. Okay, so I'm going to, well, CH3, I'm sorry about that. A CH. So I'm going to write my CH. I'm going to put a bracket to show that I have a CH3. Uh, that's branched off my CH, and that's typically how we do it. Okay, so we show a branch by a bracket. Okay, and then you can see we have a CH two and a CH three. CH two come from here, CH three come from here. So this would be the condensed uh, structure for this. How about this one? Okay, how about this one? Um, this functional group, uh, just for learning purposes, this is called an aldehyde. Okay, this is an aldehyde. It's a carbon that's double bonded to an oxygen with a with a hydrogen at the end. That's an aldehyde. Okay. And actually, I'm going to do this from right to left instead of left to right. Uh, just because <laughs> who doesn't? Okay. So if I look at the first one here, and it doesn't matter, to be honest with you. Uh, well, actually, it does. You know what? Let's, let's do it from the left to the right. Okay. So if I'm looking at this, I see a carbon that's bonded to an oxygen. Okay, I see a carbon that I see a carbon that's bonded to an oxygen and a hydrogen. So I could write this as C double bonded to you know C double bonded to an oxygen. Okay, C double bonded to an oxygen, and I have my hydrogen. Does everyone see that? Okay, I have a carbon that's double bonded to my oxygen and I have a hydrogen bonded to it. Okay. Now I could just continue, okay. Well, I see a CH2. Okay, well that's nice to know. So I have a CH2 there, okay. And then again I have a carbon that has a branch and, and these are methyl groups. Okay. These are as a, as a substituent, uh, we have methyl groups that that's, that's called a methyl group. Okay. So I see that I have a CH. Remember we said that if we have a, some sort of branch, we're going to put the branch in parentheses, which in this case is a CH3. Okay. And we only have one. So we put that in a branch and then the only thing that's left is a CH3. Okay. Now notice I did not put two CH3s and then put a two down here. That's because this is branched. Okay. This, 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 this is branched. So we have to show it uh, separately. So in, in other words, I couldn't have put CH3, uh, two. That would be wrong. Okay. This would be wrong because we have one that's branched off. Okay. So hopefully no difference. Now, uh, it doesn't matter how we draw this molecule. Okay. So I want to show you a different way of, of, and usually most textbooks actually use this, uh, this definition. Okay. So, uh, I could rewrite this from, you know, say left to right. Okay. So I could rewrite this as CH3. Okay. From left to right. I'm just rewriting this from left to right. It doesn't matter. I have a CH3. Okay. 
I have a CH3 and then I have a CH uh, that's branched off to a CH3. Okay, so I have a CH3, which is here. I have a CH, okay, and we have the CH3 that's branched off. Okay, I have a CH2, okay, and then I have this aldehyde. Now in books, you'll usually see aldehyde represented as CHO, okay? So, uh, uh, so this is a generic way you usually see in most books. The CHO means that we have this functional group the aldehyde present, okay? Let's look at another example. So let's look at this one, okay? Well, um, I see that I have a nitrogen that's sandwiched in between the middle. I have three methyl groups in this case. These are called methyl groups. That's branched off at CH3s, okay? So in fact, we could squish this down to, to, to just a single thing and say we have a nitrogen, okay? We have a nitrogen uh, that's bonded to CH3 and we have three of them, okay? So, so th this would be the, the condensed structure uh, 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 for this. Now, um, okay, so th this would be correct, but also you could uh, you could also write it as CH3, 3N, okay? And in fact, this is the more common way you'll see it, okay? But either way, it doesn't matter. It's still correct. And this is actually called trimethylamine, okay? But that's just for learning purposes. You probably don't even know what that is right now. So we're not going to worry about that, okay? So let's look at this one. Here we have to be careful. We have these are called these are called alkahalides, blowing, fluorine, al iodine, um, iodine, um, all that good stuff. These are alkahalide. And so, how would we condense this? Well, I see that I have a CH two, okay, and what's bonded to it? We're going to show it adjacent, so we have a bromine, okay. So CH two Br. Uh, now I have a CH, okay. I have a CH. That's bonded to fluorine. Okay, so that's CHF. And then we have the CH3 here. So this would be the condensed formula for that. How about this one? Okay. I have a CH3, a CH2, and I have, in this case, this functional group, a carbon bonded to an oxygen and a single bonded to, a uh, carbon double bonded to an oxygen with a bond to an alcohol, uh, OH. This is called a carboxylic acid functional group, okay? So in, 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 in the condensed structure, we're gonna take this as CH3, CH2, and then usually you'll, how you'll see carboxylic acids, you, you write them as COO, um, COOH, okay? This is a more generic form. Now you could also rewrite this as CH3, CH2, and usually in some books you'll see it right as CO2H, okay? Either or, this is a carboxylic acid. Yeah, let's, let's look at the last one. We have, again, CH3, a CH2, and we have this aldehyde functional group. So we could rewrite this as CH3, CH2, CHO. Remember we said that's how we represent aldehyde. Those are the more common functional groups you'll see. So the pattern is, it's all about the carbon chain, okay? It's all about the carbon chain, what's branch, uh, what's bonded to it, okay? So, okay, so again, remember we said that we're going to represent anything that's bonded off the carbon chain in parentheses, okay? And that's it for uh, for for the uh, for the video. It's not the not anything difficult.